Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey, hey. I want to know. I want to know. Hey, welcome to Spiller Swallow Beer Review. I'm Shag Dog. I'm Jammer. What? And we're doing another. <laughs> we're doing another. We're Thank doing you. another. We're doing another double beer review. I'm doing Colorado Guana Guanabara. Guanaberry. Guanabara. Guanabara. Is that yeah. like uh, rat poopy? Could be. Or Guana. bat bat poop. Mm -hmm. Guana. Uh, it's also. I'm doing Dragon Stout Fire, an original Jamaican beer at 10% ABV. Gets an 80 by the BA. And this one's 89 beer advocate, 10% ABV. Although I can't see anything on the bottle. It's Russian Imperial Stout. This is uh, only also... 9.6 ounces, Shag Dog. Oh, wow. This is like a 22 ounce bottle. So I'm catching up with you. Suppressing you. Rotated seasonal, supposedly, too. And it's also known as Ithaca in Brazil, but in America, it's Guanabara, Guanabara, or whatever. So. All right. You got a cap to toss. I got a cap to toss. I don't toss them, man. I, you know, so close. I can just hit whatever and just, oh, yeah, I got it. This is probably the smallest beer I have purchased in a bottle. And there's the label or the cap. You know, yeah, it's 9 point what? Per, 6 ounces. 9.6 ounces. Yeah, it's pretty I small. did have some interesting stuff on this shag dog uh, as far as uh, Dragon Stout goes. Yeah. It says here that Dragon Stout is a Jamaican beer often known as Red Stripe's darker and stronger brother. It is produced exclusively mm. in Jamaica using two-row European caramel mm. and roasted malt and as well as brown sugar. And it's uh, Jamaica's best kept secret. First brewed in 1920, Dragon Stout became known as the working man's drink and established itself as a source of strength and vitality. You know what they mean by vitality, right? Keeping it up. Yeah. Uh, also, they were saying that the stout is a healthy beer because it's uh, packed with flavonoids, the antioxidants that give uh, fruit and vegetables their dark color. Antioxidants are the molecules that neutralize free radicals. And, and unstable molecules that can harm your body. Like some other beers, like adjunct lagers, have a lot of radical, you know, yeah. radicals in them. That Free radicals, you know, man. Malt liquors. Yeah. <laughs> Came in with free radicals. Yeah, I didn't give a good head because I kind of went slow on part of it because I want to make sure it's not another old bottle because this one is kind of dusty. <laughs> but well, it's 10% uh, alcohol, so maybe it kills anything in it, right? Yeah, I uh, poured somewhat hard, but it, it, it quickly dissipated. Yeah. Mm. But this one is also made from black rapadora, which is sugar cane in Brazil. And there's other something on the bottle, but I can't read it. So I'm not going to try to read it. So there you go. Really? Too small. I get my glasses on. I'll read it. Hold on. Glasses. You got glasses? I have reading glasses. Oh, wow. But it's really too small still. Uh, but named for a breathtaking bay in front of Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio de Janeiro, Guanabara is Brazil's first imperial stout brewed with quality malt and hops. It also uses a special dark version of the native Rapadura sugar made by boiling down sugar cane juice. The result is an explosion of flavors Layered and complex with a lightly or lightened body for an added drinkability. Yeah. Hmm. Well, mine is very dark. I can't see through it at all. I can't even see any kind of, you know, normally you see maybe some red hues or something like that. I can't right. even see my hand. Yeah, this is dark too. It's black. Yeah. It's like black, uh, one of those rocks or whatever. And what head I did have was a, a very, uh, like, Cocoa beige head. 
it's black with maybe a tint of brown in there. I'd I'd say shade. I do smell some dark fruits, maybe some licorice, <laughs> molasses type smells. You know, I'm getting the same stuff jammer in mine. I won't even Are say you? it. Um, Except for the, not the licorice, but dark malt, molasses. Wow. Maybe some dark fruits. Yeah. Very roasty, and uh, I can smell the sh- probably the sugar cane too, a little sweetness in there. Yeah, molasses. Yeah. This, I think this one might be all right. I want to get on a beer advocate. Uh, I do uh, smell the alcohol. You know how you can, you know what I mean by smelling the alcohol. Yeah. Right? yeah. And with yeah. stouts, I mean, they're usually covered pretty good with the taste somewhat, but I mean, you can still tell it's there if, even if it's a high yeah. one. Not covered fully, but sometimes they mask them well with stouts. Yeah. I'm ready to drink it if you are, man. Same, same here. All right. Hey, 89 Beer point? Advocate. What yours get on Beer Advocate? Uh, 80. 80, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me. Clank. Yep. Yeah, this one I won't be able to even tell if there's any floaties in there. Man, this is very smooth. It's very sweet. It has some, I mean, what more cocoa than uh, coffee, more dark fruits than coffee. Like, there's like a, just a minute glimpse of coffee, Mm. like in the background, man. Mm. This one, I, I got a strong coffee, almost like the smell of a like fresh coffee ground, ta- but it's the taste of that, the smell. You know like what I'm saying? When you smell fresh coffee grounds, that's almost in the taste. Mm. This is almost like, almost medicinal tasting. Oh, really? That's not good. Almost. Almost. I mean, it's, it's, it's got the sweetness. You know how they sweeten up your medication? Mm-hmm. To make it palatable for mm-hmm. kids and so forth, it's that sweet. It's got that dark fruits. It's got the molasses. It's got the roasty glimpses. Um, it's almost like a sweet, almost, you know, when you think about it, a sweet tropical drink. In the islands, sitting on the beach, some beautiful girls bringing me my beverage, dressed scantily, strutting their stuff, right. leaning over, letting me see all the cleavage, mm-hmm. maybe even a glimpse of nipple. This is what this gives me, this beer. This has a weird sweetness in it where it's, I think it's some of it's a sugar cane, but it almost tastes like a... I'm getting like a, almost a raspberry type sweetness in there, yeah? Or something yeah, like I, a chocolate coffee. Dark fruits, man. Yeah, dark fruits, but I almost have a little bit of a, almost like a, a raspberry taste in there too. It's weird. And it might be, like you said, the cane sugar, you know, like you have on sugar. yours. Yeah, might be the cane sugar, yeah. Um, I'm getting like uh, molasses, but... It's more sweet, like cane sugar water. Mm. You know, you know how cane sugar water tastes, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's this is a bad. I mean, I've had better imperial stouts, but it's a little bit. This one's actually a little bit too more too sweet. Actually, that cane yeah, must sweet. be the cane sugar. That's the problem I have with this. It is sweet. Yeah. I get glimpse, you know, typical stout to me is coffee, a little cocoa, a slight bitterness, right? maybe some dark fruits, some roastiness, maybe a little bready, maybe, mm. you know. And I, I don't mind the sweet, I've had some sweet stouts before, but this one's a little bit too sugary, cane sugary sweet, I guess, or something. Yeah, it, it's uh, surprisingly sweet to me, uh, and maybe that's the reason why you can only take nine six nine point six ounces. Could be. 
That's what she uh, said. Because I don't know if I could drink 12 ounces of this crap. <laughs> I got I got more to go. Shit. I'm probably going to fill up my glass right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I mean. Back up to the rim. In one way, I was thinking, being that it was Dragon Stout Fire. Yeah. I was thinking maybe there'd be hints of cinnamon or something. This one would have been good to split because, you know, 10% big bottle like that, it's a waste oh, on one well, person. Yeah, yeah. Well, same thing with my Dread God. Mm. That would have been good. In fact, we intended to split that. Yeah. That was one of the ones we got when I was there. Yeah. Till you uh, abandoned, abandoned Florida and everybody in it. <laughs> And I don't know why. Why would you want to go to South Carolina? Uh, is their governor any better than DeSantis? He's probably less cocky. On you. Now, DeSantis, he was on... Uh, let's go ahead and grade this. I'm going to give mine a... Let me give it one more taste before I talk about politics or anything else. Give you a really good taste. Why is your hand so red? It's a reflection of the tablecloth. It looks like you have special powers. I know. I know. I had red shining on something the other day, too. I was like, that's from the tablecloth. It's not red. I send you joy. And pain. <laughs> and the fear uh, of God be upon you. Know, for what beer advocate gave this? I don't know if I go that high, but I think it was Man, 89. This is actually mellowing out where I... I, I can actually stand the sweetness. Well, it's weird because now it's having the reversed effect. Instead of it being too sweet, it's actually mm, that's not bad. <laughs> this one ain't too bad, but I wouldn't give it an eighty nine. I just think it's a little too sweet. I'd probably go a B plus, B plus of a swallow, which is like right lower than that, a little bit lower than eighty nine, right? About eighty five. Well, you know, I'm going to give this a B minus. Oh. Uh, so, all right. A couple reasons why I give it a B minus. One, the sweetness. Overpowering sweet. Yeah. Two, nine point cents out bottle. Did yeah. I say that right? I might have been six. slipping into my drunk slur there. <laughs> Nine point six ounce bottle. bottle. Yeah. I think he said nine point six now. <laughs> I'm dragging my words yeah. into each other. <laughs> you know, Arthur. That reminds me of a jail joke. I heard you're in for uh, drug charges. I didn't know. Or no, I heard you're in for uh, what the hell? No, I heard you're in for something. You're terrible when it comes to telling jokes. I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, I heard, I heard you're in for. A, that was another funny one too. Is heard in prison. I mean, I wasn't in prison. I worked there. Yes, you were. <laughs> you were I, in was, prison. I was in there, yeah, but I get to go home every day, which is Work basically release. what it was. Yeah, that's what it was, really. Home release. Terrible. Yeah. Prison jokes. Another one was, I don't know if it's true because some sergeant told me one of his sergeants when he was an officer, they were in confinement together. One of the inmates, they were at a JIT camp, you know, juvenile camp. And one of the inmates asked him, Sarge, what are we having for breakfast? He's like, hoe cakes. He's like, hoe cakes? What, what's that? He goes, kind of like pancakes, except your mom made them. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And I like the fact that you remembered it. And then go, wait a second, it's hold on, up. wait a yeah, minute. Yeah. Was it cake hoes? <laughs> oh, okay. Was it ho-ho cakes? I, what was I thinking? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> Little Debbie the, cake? No. The same sergeant. He had good, he was a ger, German. He's from New Jersey. So he hated Italians. So he had a couple of good Italian jokes, too. He's like, why did God make Italy shaped like a boot? Because it couldn't fit, fit that much shit in a shoe. <laughs> and then the other one. Uh, Italian rifle for sale dropped right. only or 
I forget the price Italian I rifle that one uh, for sale. Drop Sh- dropped once. once. Yeah, never fired and dropped one, only once. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're surrendering to the Americans. Yeah, now one of those things that all oh, the the kid that shot up to school up there in Michigan lately. Terrorist charges. I'm like terrorist is supposed to be politically or religious mo- motivation behind it. Not some retarded kid shooting up a school. There's no terroristic threat about that. It's just a retard. No offense to real retards. If you rode the short bus and wish to <laughs> contact yeah. Shag Dog. Yeah, I'm joining my short bu- bus escapades across the country. <laughs> and I rode the short bus, folks, so I am one of you. So it's all right for him to call people retards. Right. Because he's one of you. That's why I said no offense to my retarded friends. <laughs> Calling that kid a retard. Because he's more than a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, man. Uh, horrible. But I did ride on the small bus. I'll go ahead and admit it right now. I admitted it on a couple of videos, but you might not have seen those. I had a speech impediment. I had to go to speech therapy. It was kind of like my preschool year. So I had to go to speech therapy. And I had some Mongolian girl put her legs on me on the bus. I had some retarded kid trying to choke me to death in the class. My best friend was a blind kid. He didn't see what I looked like. So that was nice. Uh, that was only nice. That was story. nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like saying you you met this blind girl she couldn't see what i looked like that was nice right. yeah he's my best friend a blind kid i think he might have been deaf too i don't know <laughs> yeah, i still have a speech impediment but that's okay not as bad oh, as i did no. back then Do you have a speech impediment certain word with r's i have a hard time with certain words with you can't r's. roll your r's no but it might be my crooked teeth who knows uh, rugby. I, certain words with R's. Like what? C- certain words. I can't even think uh, of one right now. Arithmetic. Okay. I think it was all mental. Now, another problem I have is I, I, I hear my mother say certain words. I'm like, that's where I got that shit from. Because, like, I used to say, uh, some wears. Some See, your wears. Mom, your mom has an accent. Right, because you don't say somewhere as plural and singular. Somewhere. You don't put an S on somewheres. And and you don't say like it. Right. Or axed. No, I don't do that one. I just say ask. Ask. Am I saying that right? <laughs> but I do heart. certain words like where somewheres. And my well, ex-girlfriend. Bless your heart. My ex-girlfriend pointed that one out to me. It's not you don't say somewheres, it's somewhere, whether it's plural or singular. Well, like, it eh. depends. He's out there somewheres. <laughs> Does that, I think it sounds cool, if you ask me. <laughs> He's out there somewheres. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm starting like to feel the, I'm starting to feel the alcohol now. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Shag Dog, I cut a lot of that out. First of all, beer review people. Thanks for watching, commenting, Uh, subscribing, liking, and sharing, and caring uh, as always. All right, I'm going to edit this video really bad. Oh, yes, you are. Fairly well, people. Grammar. Shag Dog, I hate editing. Little Swab Beer Review. See you on the next one. Bye.